We'll call to order the City of Douglasville City Council special meeting for tonight, which is Thursday, January the 4th, 2024. This is exciting. Uh, my name is Rochelle Robinson. I'm mayor of the City of Douglasville, and we will have our invocation by our own Emily Hardaway, our community outreach coordinator for the City of Douglasville, and then we'll have our Pledge of Allegiance led by the Mayor Pro Tem. Please um, stand for the invocation. Let's pray. Merciful God, thank you for this opportunity to gather today. As we enter the new year, I pray that our city will continue to positively grow and come together to make Douglasville the best it can be. I also pray for the council members who are being sworn in tonight. Please be with them as they start a new council term. Be with all of our council members throughout the year and grant them wisdom and discernment to lead our city. As they govern, may they remember to work together in unity and harmony to do what is best for the city of Douglasville. Thank you for all of the blessings that you have and continue to bestow upon us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all so much for participating. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, for leading us in the pledge, and Ms. Emily for giving us our invocation. We do have other business, and uh, mostly what you all are here for this evening, and so items A through F are going to be uh, swearing in and announcements of committee, uh, committees tonight for the City Council. So we'll start out with item A, which is the administer of the oath of office to reelect Mayor Rochelle Robinson, given by the Honorable Cynthia Adams, who is the Douglas County Superior Court Judge. Uh, please welcome her as she comes and she will give us instructions. Well, good afternoon. I, I hate to start moving furniture in other people's houses. Um, so um, it, does this podium we'll shift? We'll we'll I, just, I just wanted to turn it around. Thank you. All right, I'm, I'm gonna try to make it so that everyone's uh, involved, but um, you know, before, uh, and I'm going to do this very quickly, because I was, I was just telling one of your council members that, that I understand that y'all are very timely people, and, um, and I'm not going to take up a lot of time, but I did want to say just a few words um, about, um, before I administer the oath. Um, I've done this uh, a few times uh, for a few uh, different individuals, and every time I administer the oath, um, it is something that is very special and dear to my heart, uh, because it's an oath being administered to public servants. Um, and when these oaths are being administered, we are making a promise to do the work that we were elected to do. Uh, and that's a huge responsibility. Uh, and so when my friend, my sister, uh, Mayor Robinson, uh, asked me if I would, um, I would have the honor, because it's an honor for me to administer the oath to her. I immediately told her I will do whatever I have to do to be here to administer the oath. And so it is my, uh, my honor, my pleasure, uh, to introduce our mayor, Mayor Rochelle Robinson. I'm gonna ask her family also to come on up, if her, her beautiful daughters and uh, her son, her husband, please. Yep, you guys were surprised, y'all are surprised. I saw that look. Uh, They're like, wait a minute, are we coming up? So her son, her daughter, um, her, her husband, her family. Um, and the reason why um, I asked the family to come up um, is because this is a family effort. Um, for those of us that are in public service, we understand that it's not just us doing this job um, because your family, they're the ones that have to sacrifice when you are up late. They have to take up the slack. Um, and so it's important that your family stand with you. Uh, and essentially, y'all are taking this oath with her. So uh, keep that in mind. All right. Uh, I was getting my brothers. Yes, my sister, please. 
All right, brothers and sisters, come on up to, come on up. She wants her siblings. Where are the, where are the siblings? Come, come on up. I don't know. She might have to call on y'all to do some extra work too if she's late in the office. So. All right, political science, brother. No, stand on this side with your with your family so that we can make sure we can get everybody. All right. They're tall. They can go to the back. They can. <laughs> All right. We're going to ask uh, Ms. Robinson if you will hold the Bible for your lovely wife. All right. We're going to ask you to place your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. And if you will repeat after me. I state your name. I, Rochelle Robinson. Do solemnly, do solemnly affirm. Do, do solemnly affirm. I'm so used to saying swear or and affirm. Swear. <laughs> that I will faithfully perform. That I will faithfully perform. The duties of mayor. The duties of mayor. Of the city of Douglasville. Of the city of Douglasville. And that I will support and defend. And that I will support and defend the laws of the city, the laws of the city, and the charter thereof, and the charter thereof, as well as the Constitution, as well as the Constitution, and laws, and laws of the state of Georgia, of the state of Georgia, and of the United States of America, and of the United States of America. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations Thank again, Mayor. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you all for being patient with me and having my family to come up. Uh, my siblings are here from Ohio, and we have other family that have uh, flown in last night and today. And when I was sworn in the first time, my mom was here, and she has um, gone on to be with the Lord. She and my dad. And so they surprised me because my aunt is here. And I'm not going to say her full age, but... It's past seven scores and something. It may be in the 80s or something. But she is here. Uh, they surprised me. She's representing. She's my dad's sister. And so she's representing my parents. And I would please ask my Aunt Martha Miles to stand, please, so we can rec recognize. Thank you, Aunt Martha. <laughs> Thank you all. I really appreciate that. Thank you, community, for being so kind and gracious to me. Councilman Adams, you're sitting on the other side. This is strange, but we'll keep going. So now we have the um, item B, which is to administer the oath of office to newly elected council member Elena Hudson, Ward 2, Post 2, by the Honorable <laughs> Keith Rollins. I know it. Douglas Ward Municipal Judge. Superstar, woo! And our own municipal judge, Judge Keith Rollins. If I may just mimic what uh, Judge Adams had mentioned before, this is an honor to do this. I certainly appreciate your asking me and entrusting me with this. Um, so we'll do it. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, and state your name. I, Elena Hudson. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That you will faithfully perform the duties of the council member that I will faithfully perform the duties of the council member of the city of Douglasville of the city of Douglasville and that you will support and defend and I will support and defend the laws of the city and the charter thereof the laws of the city and the charter thereof as well as the constitution and laws of the state of Georgia as well as the constitution and the laws of the state of Georgia and of the United States of America and of the United States of America so help you God so help me God That is our superstar on the council. We look for some great things to come out of her young mind. I'm not certain, but she is one of the youngest council members ever to take office in the city of Douglasville, and we're so excited about that.
And if you get hungry, go over to Hudson's Barbecue and get you something to eat. I will move on to uh, administer the oath of office to reelect Council Member Chris Coach Watts for Ward 4 by the Honorable Hal Hambrick, former Douglas County Probate Court Judge. Come on around, Coach. Let's give him a hand as he comes and <laughs> Judge Halbrick. Can I borrow your Bible? Yes, my husband had it. My husband. The coach wants to see that orange and pink Bible, honey. I know I left my other one, so I had to get the girly Bible. That was the backup. <laughs> but it's all the same on the inside. Bring your family. I know you have yeah. your, your girls. He's a girl this, dad. It's an honor to swear you in. I swore you in the first time. <laughs> it's always an honor to swear somebody in. Raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Chris Watts. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do you solemnly a, a swear and affirm. That I will faithfully perform. I will faithfully perform. The duties of council member. The duties of council member of the city of Douglasville. Of the city of Douglasville. And that I will support. And I will support. And defend the laws of the city. And defend the laws of the city. And the charter thereof. And the charter thereof. As well as the constitution and laws of the state of Georgia. As well as the constitution and laws of the state of Georgia. And of the United States of America. The United States of America. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, bud. <laughs> So sweet. And now we'll go to item D, which is administer the oath of office to reelect council member who that? Howard E. M. Estes, Ward 5, for the Honorable Keith Rollins, uh, Municipal Court Judge. If you want the party and something good to eat, we're going to find Councilman Estes. Let's welcome him as he comes. Raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Howard Estes. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. That you will faithfully perform the duties of council member. That I will faithfully perform the duties of council member. Of the city of Douglasville. Of the city of Douglasville. And that you will support and defend. And I will support and defend. The laws of the city and the charter thereof. The laws of the city and the charter thereof. As well as the constitution and laws of the state of Georgia. As well as the constitution and the laws of the state of Georgia. And of the United States of America. And of the United States of America. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations to the um, re-elected council members and to our new council member. Thank you, Judge Rollins, a former Judge Halbrick, and Superior Court Judge Adams for being um, in, with us this evening and making this very special. And thank you to the citizens who have come out and taken uh, time out of your lives to come and celebrate the city. Um, council members with us, and we really appreciate everyone, all of the family members and all the community partners. It's such a blessing that you are here and we are here to serve you. And so I would like for the elected officials, if you don't mind, please stand you don't have to announce yourselves but I know we have representatives here from Senator Warnock's office and so if the elected officials or those representing those elected officials would please stand we would greatly appreciate it to give you a hand thank you so much <laughs> councilman Adams you'll always be honorable could you please stand our former council member we appreciate you He didn't lose the race, he's just a girl dad. He wanted to take time with his family. So we appreciate him. Now we will go to nominations and elections of the Mayor Pro Tem for the City of Douglasville for 2024. City Manager, are you handling that for us? You can call the, uh, to open the floor for nominations. Thank you so much. I open the floor for nominations for Mayor Pro Tem for the uh, City of Douglasville City Council for 2024. Open the floor to have a nomination. Madam Mayor. Yes, sir. I would like to nominate uh, Terry Miller to continue his service as Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you so much. I have a nomination for City Council Member Terry Miller. Are there any others? 
I don't have any. The floor is closed. And we have a nomination. Is there, may I have a second? Second. second. It's, it's been, we had a hearty seconds. Who do we have, Ms. Clerk? For not, uh, Councilman hey, Davis or? Everyone, okay. Everyone. It's been second, and it's been properly moved and second um, that we adopt or nominate and that we would elect City Council Member Terry Miller from Mayor Pro Tem for the Douglasville City Council for 2024. All those in favor of adopting Councilman Miller to continue as Mayor Pro Tem, please say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Congratulations. You're the Mayor Pro Tem again. All you have to do now is put on a skirt or something if I'm not here to run the council meeting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No skirt. Not a skirt. Okay, announcements by um, myself for the city council committees and committee chairs and committee membership for 2024. Now, I have scrambled some things up this year, and I'm saying to the council members in advance, please um, have grace and know that... Uh, I know that you're capable and able to do all of these committees, but I'm placing you where I believe that you will best fit uh, to serve the community and just bear with me if you have new assignments. I know you all can do this. So the first committee is economic development, and that committee, economic development committee, committee is responsible for recommending policies to build and maintain a successful business climate and workforce talent, including the number of jobs with sustainable wages, benefits, economic opportunities for all residents, and encouraging innovation and entrepreneurship. You will work with the chamber and other entities, the city of Douglasville, the county, the Downtown Development Authority, Georgia Department of Economic Development, Main Street, and various other economic development activities. The chair for this committee is the Mayor Pro Tem, City Council Member Terry Miller. The vice chair is City Council Member Nicole Miller. And two of the um, committee members, I'm only doing two committee mem members per, per committee this year, Elena Hudson and uh, City Council Member Dr. LaShawn Burdanley. We'll move on then to finance. The finance committee is responsible for recommending policies on matters pertaining to the budget, administering of taxing ordinances, property acquisitions and dispositions, capital improvement projects, purchasing policies, liability insurance, and other financial matters, fiduciary matters for the city of Douglasville, appropriating bills and bonds, capital planning, contracts, federal, state, and local funding, and financial audits. The finance chair this year is Councilmember Chris Watts, and the vice chair is Councilmember Howard Estes. Members uh, serving on that committee are Councilmember Elena Hudson and Councilmember Nicole Miller. We'll move on then to housing and community affairs. The Community Housing and Community Affairs Committee is responsible for making policies and recommendations pertaining to quality of life initiatives such as housing, homelessness, and code enforcement. Uh, they work with the Board of Health, Community Services Board, Code Enforcement, Community Development Block Grants, Georgia Department of Community Affairs, Habitat for Humanities, and other housing authority initiatives. The Chair for Housing and Community Fa Affairs is Councilmember Howard Estes is the Chair, and the Vice Chair is City Council Mayor Pro Tem Terry Miller. Two members serving on that committee will be Councilmember Dr. LaShawn Burdanley and Councilmember Nicole Miller. We'll move on to Legislative and Intergovernmental Committee. Legislative and Intergovernmental Committee is a committee whereby, let me find the, I don't have the paper. Ooh, thank you, I don't, here it is. It's the Legislative and Intergovernmental Committee is responsible for making policy and recommendations on matters pertaining to critical intergovernmental topics at the local, state, and federal levels on particular matters concerning and affecting local ordinances in the city's charter and laws governing the city's elected officials. They work with the Atlanta Regional Commission, Douglas County Government, general ordinances in the city, and uh, the city charter and training activities for the elected officials. Legislative and Intergovernmental Committee Chair is Councilmember Mayor Pro Tem uh, Terry Miller, and the Vice Chair is Councilmember Dr. LaShawn Burdanley. Uh, members are Howard Estes, Councilmember, and Councilmember Chris Watts. Personnel and Organization Committee. 
This is the personnel and organization's responsibility is to recommend policies that address personnel policies and procedures, compensation and benefits, employee retirement, relations, staffing, and organizational structures for the city. Um, that This committee is over employment benefits, classifications, compensation, ethics, health and wellness, pension plan, and workers' comp. And so personnel and organization committee members, the chair is council member Howard Estes, vice chair is council member Dr. LaShawn Burndanley. Members serving on this committee are council members Chris Watts and Mayor Pro Tem Terry Miller. Planning and development, board of adjustments and appeals. Planning and development, board and justice and appeals, uh, the planning, and Development Committee is responsible for making policy recommendations that address the city's planning, the city's land use, zoning, historic preservation, building inspections process, permitting, and smart growth initiatives. This committee also handles annexations, um, adjustments and appeals, compensation and comprehensive plans, growth management, GIS, uh, geographical information systems, historic preservation, uh, preservation, planning commissions, United Development Code, and zoning administration. That's a whole lot. And so this committee, the chair is council member Nicole Miller, vice chair is council member Chris Watts. Council members that serve on this committee are council members Howard Estes and Dr. LaShawn Burdanley. Public, we're almost done. Public improvement and beautification committees. And so those are with Mr. Gregg, Public Improvement and Beautification. It doesn't seem like all of them are here. We might be missing one. I see it. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm city clerk. Uh, the Public Improvement and Beautification Committee is responsible for making policy recommendations that address sanitation, public facilities maintenance, fleet, heavy equipment, recycling, and maintaining operations for city properties, including the cemetery. This committee works with city buildings, the cemetery, commercial and residential sanitation, heavy equipment, including but not limited to tractors, side cutters, skid streets, uh, keep Douglasville beautiful, and the tree advisory board. Uh, the chair for public improvement to beautification is council member Nicole Miller. The vice chair is council member Elena Hudson. Members that serve on that committee are council members Chris Watts and Mayor Pro Tem, city council member Terry Miller. Public relations. The public relations committee is responsible for the public relations is responsible for recommending policies and encourages communications and participation between residents and city government. The committee encourages uh, coordination with city events and transparency with our city government. They are also um, responsible for branding and marketing, government access channel, imaging, logos, press release and announcements, social media, and the website. And so the chair for these committees, uh, chair and vice chair, the chair is council member Samuel Davis, and the vice chair is council member Elena Hudson. Members serving on this committee are council members Howard Estes and Chris Watts. Public safety, of course we all know what public safety is and we're excited with our chief sparks. The public safety committee is responsible for making policy recommendations that address police, fire, emergency management, municipal court, alcohol license, um, permits issued under uh, police power. So they are including alcohol beverage license, animal control, emergency management, fire safety, municipal courts, street closures, and traffic control. Our public safety chair for this year is council member Dr. LaShawn Burdanley is the chair, and council member Chris Watts is vice chair. Members serving on this committee are council members the M&M, &M, Nicole Miller, and Mayor Pro Tem Miller. Recreation, Culture, and Tourism. That committee is responsible for recommending policies to promote, support, and celebrate the arts, history, culture, and presence of active lifestyle that includes um, our community with parks. It also is, has under the auspice of the Amphitheater, the Cultural Arts Council for Douglasville, Douglas County, Convention and Conference Center Authority, Community Theater, Con Convention and Visitors Bureau, parades, parks, uh, recreation facility, public art, and the trail system. 
the Recreation, Culture, and Tourism Chair is Council Member Chris Watts. Vice Chair is Council Member Nicole Miller. Members serving on that committee are Council Members Howard Estes and Elena Hudson. Technology Committee, we're almost done. We have one more after this one. The Technology Committee is responsible for making policy recommendations on matters pertaining to technology-related issues. These issues include telecommunications, radio communications, cybersecurity, television, and service systems. The alarm systems, audiovisual equipment, cybersecurity, emergency warning systems, global positioning systems technology, GPS, information systems, mobile devices, robotic, uh, robot technology, scanners, servers, and unmanned air, tra air traffic technology, which are drones. I didn't know what that was. Oh, technology Committee is chaired by Councilmember Elena Hudson, and the Vice Chair is Councilmember Howard Estes. Members serving on that committee are Dr. Uh, LaShawn Burdanley and Councilmember Chris Watts. The last committee is Transportation. Transportation is responsible for making policy recommendations on matters pertaining to transportation and transportation infrastructure, which include bicycle and pedestrian advisory committees, federal, state, regional, and local transportation agencies, sidewalk planning, maintenance and construction, street maintenance and construction, traffic maintenance and planning, and transportation planning and construction. The chair will remain Council Member Dr. LaShawn Burdanley and Vice Chair um, City Council Mayor Pro Tim uh, Terry Miller. Members serving on transportation are Council Members Elena Hudson and Council Member Nicole Miller. Council Members, you will receive your committees, chairs, vice chairs, and where you participate from our city clerk. She will print out copies and give those to you, and we'll be prepared for our 6 o'clock meeting when I call each committee for you to respond uh, to the committees. Those are the committees. And um, after that, I don't believe we have any other business. Do we have any business from city council members for the elected officials? Any business? Okay. Not city manager, we have anything? You all have a brief moment with your friends and family until 6 p.m. And we will start legislative work session sharply at 6 p.m. Is a reception yes. after this or in between? Okay. Well, if we don't have any other business, this is um, a special call meeting, so we do not have public hearing at this. We will have it at our next meeting at 6 p.m. So if we don't have any other business to come before council this evening, this meeting is adjourned into our reception. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you.